Welcome to Panorama 6. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how this new version is faster, safer, and easier than ever before. Panorama 6 is optimized for the latest hardware and software, including Snow Leopard. Have you ever lost work because something went wrong and you had forgotten to save? With Panorama 6, that will never happen again. As you are working, Panorama will quietly archive a shadow copy of everything in RAM for you. If anything goes wrong, we've got you covered. The most you can lose is a few seconds of work. I'll crash Panorama on purpose to show you how it recovers. When you relaunch Panorama, you go right back to where you were. All databases, windows, and variables are right where you left off, and you can just get back to work as if nothing had ever happened. In most database programs, changing the field structure is difficult or impossible, but Panorama 6 makes it almost effortless. To change the position of a field, just drag it to a new spot. Got two fields that need to be combined into one? The new Merge Fields dialog makes that a snap. Splitting one field into two is also easy. Check out how easy it is to split this field into separate first and last names. You can split the field at any character or position. Sometimes you want to focus on just a few fields and ignore the rest. It's easy to temporarily hide a single field, and hidden fields are hidden for printing as well as display on the screen. If you have more than a few fields to hide, use the new Hide Show Fields dialog. Simply uncheck the fields you want to hide. You can also save one or more favorite configurations for later use. The hidden fields can be restored at any time. In the data sheet, you can now right click to access a pop up menu that's customized for the current cell or field. You can easily select data that is the same as or related to the current field. Right click to select data in the same period as the current cell. Or even walk through the database by day, week, month, or year. Right click on a numeric cell to see statistics for the currently selected records. Right click on the field name to access commands for modifying the database structure. Locating information is possibly the most important database task. Panorama 6 makes it easier than ever to find even the smallest needle in the biggest haystack. The new Find Select dialog gives you pinpoint control over searches, but starts out by casting a wide net. Just start typing and Panorama will search all of the fields in the database. There are 13 records in this database that contain Houston, but not all of them are in Texas. Looking for something more specific? Not a problem. You can easily combine multiple criteria to find exactly what you're looking for. And thanks to Panorama's RAM-based speed, Panorama continuously updates the results as you click and type. When you've got just the data you want, press the Select button to work with this data set further. Reopening the Find Select dialog brings you right back to where you were. You can save this search as a favorite, or choose a different favorite. As you can see, Panorama 6 has simple but powerful options for searching text, dates, or numbers. Now the information you need will always be at your fingertips whenever you need it. When you need to make changes to hundreds or thousands of items, one at a time doesn't cut it. Fortunately, Panorama's Manipulate Data dialog can turn this kind of job from a nightmare into mission accomplished. Here's a simple task. Convert a field to all uppercase. It's easy. Just choose from the pop-up options. The live preview shows you exactly what you'll get, so there's no doubt or guessing. Pressing Apply actually modifies the database. Numbers and dates can be changed also. For example, raising the price of selected items by 20%. For a more complex job, like fixing up the formatting of phone numbers, multiple steps can be chained together. I've saved the required steps in advance so that they can be used over and over. If you're not careful, powerful tools can be very dangerous. Fortunately, Panorama 6 has a built-in do-over option that we call time-lapse. If you make a serious mistake, you can just go back. 
even if you've already saved the database, even if the mistake doesn't get caught until tomorrow, or even next week. To perform this magic, Panorama keeps up to two dozen previous copies of your database as you work. If you need to go back in time, just open the time lapse window. This window displays all of the archived versions of your database in a simple calendar format. It's easy to open a previous version side by side with the current database. You can check for changes or selectively copy from the old version to the new. To help you keep everything straight, editing is locked out in the old version and the data is displayed in gray. If you just want to go back to a previous version, simply click on one of the revert icons. You can undo everything that's been done or selectively restore the previous data, procedures, or forms. Time lapse has got your back so you can get your work done with confidence. Is the data you need to work with in some other program? A spreadsheet or database perhaps? No problem, Panorama can easily suck it up. For example, suppose I've received a spreadsheet with new items for the company price list. To add the new items, I start by selecting them. Then I drag them onto the Panorama datasheet. At this point, the Panorama Text Import Wizard kicks in to help line up the spreadsheet columns with my database fields. Simply drag each column into the corresponding field. If an imported field is missing or doesn't correspond exactly with a database field, a formula can be set up to generate the correct data on the fly. In this case, the manufacturer is missing, but I note that it is always Walther's. To complete the process, press the Import button. Boom! The spreadsheet data has been appended to the database. It's even easier to import data into a new database. To show this, I'll transfer this table from Pages to Panorama. The first step is to open the New File Wizard. Next, I select the text in the table and drag it onto the New File Wizard. If necessary, the field names and types can be adjusted at this point. I'll just press the button and create the new database. Exporting data is also easy, and you can configure the exported data however you need it. To illustrate, I'll export this nutritional database to an iWork Pages document. I start by opening the Text Export Wizard. Database fields can be exported in any arrangement. Just drag each field into position. When the arrangement is ready, just drag the exported data to wherever you need it, to a folder, to Excel, to Numbers, or in this case, to Pages. To finish up, I'll format the text file as a table within the word processing document. Do you like what you've seen so far? There's even more where that came from. Whether you're an expert Panorama programmer or just stick to the basics, Panorama 6 will remind you why you started using Panorama in the first place. As with every Panorama upgrade, we've taken great care to ensure that Panorama 6 is fully compatible with the databases you use every day. You won't miss a beat. Get your copy of Panorama 6 today.